you guys welcome back to home theater gurus this is just a quick update to the house build of course uh, we've been really busy after the sheetrock it's been all me my wife and really just the two of us so we've been working really hard uh, got everything painted well after the sheet rockers came in of course I trimmed all the doors or hung all the doors and trimmed everything out and then we started painting uh, put all the lights in these are all like really thin half inch uh, thin LED lights you can put them even if there's a joist up there you can pop them right in so I already had everything pre-wired and they were pretty quick and easy to lay out so here's the living room we have crown just in the living room and kitchen. We almost didn't do crown molding, but uh, for just appraisal reasons, we did it. It turned out looking nice. We kind of stopped it up here on both sides of the kitchen. I did actually, I ran it around the corners, but it looked kind of funny. So I took it off and we both, me and my wife both liked it without that up there. All right, Let me turn the kitchen light on here. I actually shot this video earlier with another phone that had a wider uh, angle. It got the whole rooms better, but uh, it just, it was real grainy. So we'll have to make do with this one, but there's the kitchen. Uh, we had a cabinet maker come and put the kitchen in or it, you know, installed all the cabinets. A uh, whole lot cheaper than going like to Lowe's and Home Depot for your kitchen. So instead of paying like 25 grand, it was just over $11,000 for all the kitchen cabinets, including the ones in the, uh, my wife has a vanity in the bathroom. So we came in and painted everything after he left, put all the uh, handles on. I did that a couple days ago, put the handles and pulls on. All right. And we haven't officially moved in yet because we're still building. We still have the bathrooms to go. It's kind of a cool fan. We got it. I think they've got that at Lowe's. 60 inch fan. It's kind of cool looking. All right. And we have a lot of these. The little smart switches. You can turn them on and off with a touch or just the back of your hand. Just barely touch them. And also your phone. You know, I can be anywhere in the house and turn any of these lights on and off as I wish. Uh, you know, once Alexa's in here, we can just tell Alexa, hey, Alexa, turn on the you know, the living room fan or the living room cans or patio lights, whatever. All right, and over there you see that's a hammer sub. I don't know if you guys may remember that from one of the videos where we put a base coat clear coat on it. We just got a little setup in here so, you know, we can watch TV if we want to while we're working or whatever. We've got our in ceiling speakers in, the Paradigm PA80s, and they're angled really well. You know, they're angled all towards the seat, but they're really good just in the whole area because of the way they're angled. You know, it just kind of gets sound everywhere. They just sound really, really good. Usually when we're working, we have it going. All right, let's go check out this room in here. This is my oldest daughter. She picked out the color, kind of a darker gray. It's a mess in here. We've already cleaned out our storage building. That's why there's all these boxes everywhere. Instead of paying another month on storage, we just got them out of there and kind of put them in here while we finish building. All right, let's go check out the back and the master bedroom, and then we'll look at the theater. Of course, this is gonna be a bookshelf over here one day. All right. So this is the laundry room. All these clothes are out of storage. They've been in a box for almost two years. So uh, it'd be two years, December 30th. Well, actually a few days before that's when we actually moved them out. So we've just been washing everything and we've got so, so much junk. So, all right. So we have two bathrooms left to go. That's really our big things that are left. So this is the kids' bathroom. And this is a six foot wide bathroom. That's why it's a little bit wider than the tub. It's a standard five foot tub. So we pulled it out a little bit. And I'm putting Curdy, which is a waterproof membrane. Uh, last couple days, I put that in. Tomorrow, I'll finish it up. Just got a little bit more to do in the corners. And then uh, we'll also go pick tile tomorrow and we'll get this tile. I'm trying to get ready for Wednesday. That's when the propane gets here. Or we're gonna have a tank, underground tank put in for propane for our on-demand hot water. And here's the master bedroom. My wife did really good picking out this carpet. Let's uh, 
We've got a triple gang light. You can see they're illuminated in the dark, so that's pretty cool. It's at night, you can see the switches. So the first one is the fan. Second one's the can lights. Got a pretty cool fan. It spins, you got a remote control. You can stop it, pause it wherever you want. And let's see. So these are pretty cool. Got the tray lights going. So, and I actually built this bed, the last house and wherever we sold it, we didn't have a bedroom set or at least that matched. Instead of buying one, I just decided I was gonna build one. It's actually a floating design. The headboard right there actually has acoustic panels, acoustic material in it. But uh, anyway, so we may change that fabric. I don't really like the fabric. I might put the, the fake suede that we have in the movie room. We have some left over, may put that in there. Now these lights right here that are hanging, I converted them to touch lights, which is kind of cool. And of course in here, we've got a 4.1.2 uh, audio system going in, little theater system. Got our surrounds right here, hole in the wall over there. I've got a fix where they ran the wire through the wrong, uh, they didn't put it where it was supposed to go for the end wall, but anyway, that's going to be our mains up there and our top uh, front right here. And then there's our surrounds. Oh, let's see. Then we got the master bathroom. Of course, we've got a shower. Both showers have to be done. And that's my wife's vanity right there. The cabinet maker also made that. And that's the, got the commode in there. Anybody wants to see the commode over here. We're going to have a floating sink that I'll just do a, uh, some three quarter inch plywood, you know, on top of some framing and put a concrete, uh, some sand mixed concrete on top of it that overhangs the front edge. So it looks like a slab of concrete and we'll put a vessel sink on top. I've done that in my first house or something similar. So that's nothing new, but this is going to be a pain doing this big old shower. My shower guy, he is, uh, I don't know if, I don't know if he got the COVID or what, but I haven't heard from him in weeks, so it looks like I'm doing the showers. So that one's gonna be fun. And my wife's closet, it looks like a room. I'm not gonna show you her closet. All right, let's go check out the movie room. This is just a quick one, we're not done yet. So, all right, I wish I had a better camera with the wider field of view all right so we got three lights up top and that's a fabric ceiling up there it's actually pegboard and i wrapped it with the fabric with the uh, spray glue like 3m77 i think i used gorilla spray for it spray both sides of it it works really really well and we've got our acoustic fabric walls here so we've got a little step up now we're gonna go over this in a minute. This carpet's getting changed out. There'll be a LED strip under there. And when you walk up, there's uh, the bottom one with the white right there. That's actually a motion detector, which will also pick you up when you're coming into this area from the theater. Got the JVC RS2000 up there. Also got some plugs up there. One of them is for Starfield for the future. That's gonna be the bottom switch there. And we can operate that from a phone or uh, remote controls like a Harmony or something. And uh, let's see, this one right here, let's turn the lights off in here. This one right here, this is the lights above the seats. So when we hit pause, those will come on. And when you get up, of course, all the LEDs will come on, you know, those up there and stuff. And all those steps will have LEDs to kind of light up the stairs. But uh, if you want to eat while you're watching a movie or something like that, you know, you'll have these overhead lights up here. But also if you hit pause on a movie, I'll have it set up to where they come on and also it lights up this hallway here too. Let's go ahead and turn some lights on. There we go. All right. Now, of course, we haven't done a lot in here because we've been working on the house. So this has kind of been put on pause. But... There it is. I still have to do all the baseboard, which I don't want to get too crazy with the baseboard, something kind of small. But now the base on the the, uh, col the corner columns is going to be a little bit bigger. 
and uh, some crown on top of all the columns, make them kind of stand out a little bit and give it something besides just fabric in here too. And we're also gonna have the slat diffuser walls, which I'm still kind of leaning towards like some type of concrete product for that, just to kind of give it something cool. I don't even see the motion detector just pick me up. Lights came on. Still have to close those in. I gotta put the uh, speakers right there. Gonna go up there for my top front. So I'll do that next, maybe this weekend. All right, we've got the LCRs in, the Triad Gold. Definitely an in-game speaker. Not really much to upgrade to after you get something like that in. I'm actually filming the uh, the Seymour screen video. That's why all this stuff here is set up. A little behind the, behind the scenes there. Light boxes and all that mess. Anyway, this is a Seymour screen with masking panels, magnetic masking panels. So a uh, really, really nice screen. I've used Seymour for 15 years and uh, you know, it's been tested best in class, not by me, but AccuCal did some independent testing and hey, it is what it is. All right, and here is the equipment closet. I've got the rack kind of pulled forward a little bit, but still waiting on the amps to come in. Got two seven channel amps coming from Amir at Summit Hi-Fi. Excited to get those in and get this room going. Of course, we have the GSG Devastators going in those alcoves behind the screen. And once I get the seats in here, seats are out there in the living room, the Valencia Tuscany that we saw just a minute ago. Uh, those are gonna come in here. I've got the HT Marketplace Waveland. They're actually gonna go over here and replace the Valencia in the living room. Now they're a curved seat, uh, pretty pretty loaded out you know, with everything powered and all that. So I'm excited to get those in. They might be in this week or this coming up week. So I need to get the Valencia seats in the theater. Before we can do that, we have to get this nasty carpet out of here. And just to kind of show you the issue, when I got this carpet, it had a nice texture. You know, I'm, I have so much trouble picking carpet. But anyway, so it had a pattern. And I thought it was going to be darker than this than it is. But I could live with this. It's lighter than I would like. But when you walk over here, well, let's look at that tile. See that tile? That's actually the carpet, the new carpet. It's going to be that. Much darker. It'll be much better for this room. When you walk over here and look at it from this direction, it looks like bleach was spilled everywhere. And it just, it looks freaking, it's ugly. I'll just say it, it's ugly. So, uh, yeah, Stain Master has agreed to just, they're going to replace the carpet with that. I have to pay labor. So it's going to cost me, you know, 300 bucks or so to get this changed, but it is well worth it because I thought I could live with it. But I, every time I would look at it, I, I can't do it. I cannot live with this. It's just too damn ugly. So uh, anyway, that's getting out of here. So the, it has been ordered. Hopefully it gets here really quick and they get it in quick so I can get all these dang seats in here because I hate to put the Valencia in here. Then I have to pull them out when it's time to change the carpet. But if that's what I have to do, that's what I'll do. So anyway, this isn't done, of course, you know, we've just got, it's not a lot of work left in the theater really at all. I mean, probably a day, a good day if I bust butt getting after it. But uh, right here, I've got to trim all these out. I'll probably do like a one by material, cut down to eight inches thick, wrap them in fabric. I really don't want to do wood on those, I don't think. Anyway, so yeah, that's, uh, that's about where we're at. And also on the screen wall, I have to build the panels. That screen, once I get the Valencia in here, I'd like to have my screens just above my feet. You know, like when they're fully reclined. And, uh, you know, all seats, different brands sit a little bit different, you know, and even the different lines in the same brand. So I want to get them in here, and I think I'm going to drop them down probably two or three inches or drop the screen. And just, they're in the living room right now, so I've kind of used that wall and measured. So we'll kind of tweak and then after that I'll have panels that actually fit behind the screen and fill that wall in with the acoustic fabric black same black we have right here so anyway it's actually a 16 by 9 screen I just happened to have the masking panels up because I was filming the video and I kind of I show them you know how they install and that's why those are on right now all right guys so that's pretty much it no in case anyone was wondering the sink and the fridge are different colors Everything is supposed to be black stainless. Everything's actually over there. The, uh, the oven 
and the dishwasher. I'll be putting the oven in this week because they're gonna, or this weekend because the gas is coming, so they have to have the gas range in so they can adjust the, the burners and stuff. It's black stainless. The fridge was sent to us with the wrong color. They ordered another one. We're just using that one until they get it. That's why the sink looks darker than the fridge. So it's kind of like a gunmetal looking stainless steel. Anyway, all right guys, that's gonna be it for this one. I'll see y'all next time.